Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have seen about the CSS inheritance and how we can inherit the non inheritable properties like border or match padding using the inherit value. We have seen it. Now we will try to see another CSS inheritance property values that are available in the CSS. That is nothing but initial and unset also you'll try to see it so what is the use of this initial and the unset for example let's say that here if you try to open this one before learning about this initial and all other uh, properties about the css inheritance first we need to understand how the css will be applied to an element for example let's say that this is a div element right let's say that this is a div element if you try to observe this div element so for this development for every element okay we will have some css properties all the css properties will be applied to this one with the initial values that means with their default values let's say that accent color it's an auto so like this if you try to see everything every css property will be there with their initial value so that means if you are applying an element means automatically the css will be applied all the css properties will be applied with their initial values so that is the one thing for example i will try to remove this all css and here i will be having a div simple div with an hello world okay now when you try to apply div with an hello world if you see the output here we will able to see that the color has been applied with a black color so how this font color black is there because the css property colors default value is the black color so that is the reason we are able to see that color as a black so here if you try to see color is a black that there is a default value so like this we will be having different default values so li like this we will be having different default default values so those are this is one of the concept which you need to remember for every css uh, for every element you will have all the css values applied to it with its default value so every css property will have a default value for example i have shown you one thing that is nothing but a color so like this you will be having so now for example let's say that now let's go that let's try to see another thing i am having a div element okay the same thing so class is equal to my parent i will use this one and here i will be having hello world and in this one i will be adding paragraph element so this paragraph element so here also i can add this is paragraph okay so like this we are having for this my parent i will apply for this my parent i will apply a color of red okay now what will happen previously what we have seen so i have applied to this my parent so that means whatever the child elements present inside this my parent all the elements will inherit that color property by default and the, all the elements will get a red color so here we are able to see hello world and also this is paragraph both are in red color why because so this piece is paragraph is present in the my parent and my parent we have given it as a color of red because of that reason we are able to see it but what i want to do is in a situation in a such a way that the paragraph element for example let's say that paragraph and this is another paragraph like this i will try to write and here we will be having a div element this is div element i can write it like this and i am having another div element and this is called as a div2 element let's say so these are all the elements will have a red color okay now what i want to do is so here i will be having something like a class okay so reset i will be using a class reset and for this one also i will try to use the reset now what i want to do is whoever the elements that are having a reset class i don't want to take the color from their parent right now so it is the reset elements and all those elements are also applying red color because the parent has a red color here you will be able to see my parent has a red color and this reset element also if you try to see the color is inherited from the parent i don't want this elements which are having a class of reset i don't want these elements to inherit the value from the parent okay i don't want the color to be inherited 
in 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 return i want the default value that is nothing but a black value to be applied to this one so what i can do so here i can go into this one my parent inside this one i can use the reset i want to apply color of black so this is a normal thing so i can apply color of black directly i will i am trying to apply so fine we are able to get a color of black here but we have an another property value that is nothing but initial okay initial so when you try to use this initial automatically okay automatically the property whatever the css property we are having here the color css property automatically it will be set to the default value the colors default value is the black right so it will be set to the initial value so this is this is what the initial is used so whenever you have for example let's say that we are having a font size for this one of about 24 pixel so all the elements will have all the things will be 24 pixel and why because the font size is inherited by all the child elements which are present in the my parent but i want font size to be initial so that means the default one that is nothing but a 16 pixel so here i can use the initial automatically the reset these things will have a initial that is nothing but a 16 pixel so which are having this one and also the color also will be black color so that is nothing but an initial color so like this if you don't want the css to be inherited from the parent and you want only the initial initial value to be applied means you can use this initial property okay so this is about the initial property and also we have an another property also i will try to show you that is nothing but an unset so that one we will be using rarely about the sunset it is a combination of inherit and the initial i will try to tell you for example let's say that i am having a button so here i am having a button so click here i am using a click here now if you try to see here so this is a click here if you try to see here we have applied a button okay we have applied a button for this one so we have applied a button for this one so we are able to see a border has been applied to this and a black gray and a gray color background color has been applied to this one so who has applied these all the css so this one somehow by applying the css only we are able to get this one right so who has applied the css we haven't applied anything so you can think that the button we have used the button element so button elements default where default uh, the render will be like this we will be able to say but that is not the way so who will apply this one is if you try to see here for this button element you will be able to see here these are all the styles that has been applied by the element for this button element so these are applied by the user agent user agent means here the browser the browser has the chrome browser has the default style sheet which which will have all the css it will be applied to the element in the same scenario each browser every browser has their own style sheet set so for every element they will be having some separate styles for button means they are having some separate styles so these are they are getting applied for example now i don't want this i don't want this border to be applied so it want i want i want this one to be taken the initial value so what i can do here i can write in a such a way that button take the font size or otherwise border initial so automatically it will take the initial value initial value is border is zero pixel now the border has been removed i don't want this background color also to be applied so what i can do here background color initial initial background color is transparent so here the black color has also been went and also i want uh, so font size and everything will be correct only so like this we have removed it here so now tomorrow so we will be having so many things so here we will be having so many things so there will be some padding has been applied here so i don't want this padding so you can remove the padding initial so you can also apply the margin also as initial so i want to take all the default values so now the button has the button everything has been removed but i don't i don't want these all the things to be applied okay i don't want these all the things to be applied so i want to have something like whatever the inherited properties are there so those values should be inherited and remaining all it should be set to the initial value so instead of applying these all the things what i can do is i can do all unset okay so if i do all unset now if you try to see the same thing has been applied here all unset what it will try to do is 
if there is any inheritable property applied here for this button so it will inherit those properties if i if it if there are non inherited properties means like border margin padding those things are there means those things will take the initial value if there if it is an inheritable property means it will take from the parent if it is not an in, inheritable property means it will take it will take the initial value that is the use of this all unset now i can use color of red or something like this i can use it so for example let's say that for this button i'm having a div right so in this div this is a parent and this parent is having a color of so this parent is having a color of red let's say show okay and i'm not applying this all the unset and all the six now the button also will be what happened to this one so this is a parent and here we will try to save it so class is equal to parent okay and for this one so here for this parent i have applied a color of red and if you try to see here so here we are able we are not able to see the color red color why because here at the top for the parent we have applied a color red and for the button so user style sheet has given some button text so there is nothing but a initial color it has given some black color it has given so that means the browser is applying some color now what i want to do is i don't want to take all the values for example let's say that i don't want all the values like font size or not font size background color it should be initial okay and what i want to do here so let's say that uh, margin should be initial and also border should be initial so like this so these are all non inheritable properties but the inheritable properties like color i need to take it so what i can do color as inherit i can use this inherit so now if i try to see here we are able to see like this output right instead of applying like this color is an inheritable property so instead of applying like this we can use a scenario in such a way that all unset you can use this all unset and here you can apply so the same thing will have, will apply here if you use the all unset all unset means if a non inheritable property is there means it will take the initial value if an inheritable property is there means it will take it from the parent from the parent you have a color of red which is a inheritable property automatically for the button also it will apply the color red because of this all unset so this is about the unset property we will be using more or less often about this one so but you need to worth uh, no, worth remembering this one also unset what it will try to do and also the initial also we understood about the initial also so the last one is left out is nothing but a revert we'll try to discuss in the next session so this is about the initial and also the unset so when you need to use the unset so hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.